So here we go, an Elite Extra Edition. It's a race for two of the spots. And we're going to see who gets those two spots. It's one winner. It's winner take all in a sprint. And we shuffle this seven times. Lucky number seven on your mark. Get set. Go. So Willie is out front. Mr. Willie looking for uh, two spots for a very, very low price. Good luck in that green jersey. Green shoes and all. Five seconds, still maintaining the lead the whole way. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Arturo coming up in the top lane. Oh, my. So, Willie, man, you're having a good run. Wow, what a shocker. It is kind of rare when the person up front wins. Uh, if you start off up front, it's it's actually, it's not really that good. I mean, I see it, I see it happen where somebody wins. When they're up front, when it starts. But it's not. It's not very often. And I thought you were going to do it, Willie, because you were up there the whole time. <laughs> Until two seconds left. And so it is Arturo who grabs them spots. Congratulations, man. Let's get to the rip here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to start randoming right now. Seven times through for the owner names. Oh, fun gambling, man. Hey, we're a name short. How are we a name short? Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, let me read it. Start the random again. Good luck, gambling, man. Seven times through for the other names, seven times through for the teams in our randomizer. Lucky number seven. And that is the first random all finished. So now we're going to send the teams through here and stack the lists up side by side. Good luck. Wow. That would, that would be crazy. That would be nuts. Yeah. Seven times through. What do we got? What do we got? What is going on? Lucky number seven. It's Elite Extra Edition Baseball with 10 hits about to pop loose. So I'm going to put these teams in alphabetical order. Oh, yeah.
<clears throat> All right, so here we go. Let's hit something big out of Elite Extra Edition Baseball. What is it going to be? Here's a Matt McLean, number 274, die cut for the Reds. And this is a prime numbers. What is it, number two? 205. That's a Dodgers autograph. Nice one. Or, excuse me, a parallel. Nice one. Okay, we got our first Dominican Republic autograph type of hit here. And so we'll look to find out if he's affiliated with the team. If he's not affiliated with the team, we will be putting him in a random. Here is a Tommy Mace for the uh, Guardians autograph. Arturo, nice one. Nice Tommy Mace. Hunter Goodman, silver ticket card. Hunter Goodman is a Colorado Rockies guy. So that's John's. Hunter Goodman. College tickets. Silver. Man, this thing is thick. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Dominican prospect player. We're going to be looking him up at the end of the break. If he's affiliated with the team, we will give them to the team. But if he's not, he'll go to random between everybody. Here's a Phillies, number 215. And, oh, Cespedes. See, there, we've had some veterans coming out of here in this tonight. Wow. Nice. White Sox. Cespedes. Chicago White Sox owner pulling this threads hit. Uh. Here is this catcher. Oh, nasty patch. It's got threads all coming out of it. Look at that. Nasty pinya. And we'll see who's going to pick this up and toward the end of the break. We've been talking about these Dominican prospect players and how we do those and all. Here is Adonta Williams. We go by the checklist for everything, but the checklist is a little old, so we're now going by where the uh, players are affiliated with and stuff like that. And here is a Williams. Donato Williams is with Baltimore, John. So that one is for you. All right. So here is the Los Angeles pitcher. Two of 205 is what it's number two. And it's a Dodgers. You can tell with the blue border here is L.A. Dodgers owner who gets this one. Mr. Arturo lands that one. Here's a T.J. White for the Nationals. That is numbered to 210. Minnesota Twins picking up an autograph hit. Arturo lands the Mississippi State Young Buck. Nice one, Arturo. And Colton Cowser, the big name to have come out of the break. Look at this hit. Look at this thing. Ho! Ho! One of the bigger names to get in this kind of a box break is a Colton Cowser. And so this is turning out to be a really good box break right here. There's no doubt about it. 
Orioles. Ho! Congratulations, John. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yes, yes, yes. So we got some good stuff going on. There's no doubt about it. Pretty happy for John with that one and everything. We'll see what else is popping. Here's a bush. Number 276 is what it looks like. Could be 78. Yeah, I think it's 78. Angels. So that one is for John Akai Bush. Parallel. Number 267. Giants die cut. Nice low numbered parallel for the Giants owner. John and here is a Colin Burns for the Orioles. That's a hidden gems. Colin Burns. Joe Mack, the catcher for the Marlins. Nice. Autograph hit. And that one is for John as well. Here's a Harry Ford. Parallel Prism. Nice. Mariners Harry Ford. This one's number 221. It's an LA Angels. Here is a McCade Brown going to the Rockies owner. John gets this one, number two, 224. McCade Brown die cut. Austin Hendrick. That's a good name. This has been a great box. My gosh. Nasty. Nice Austin Hendrick for the Reds owner. Cincinnati. Cincinnati Reds. Nice going, Arturo. And the more sets right here belongs to Well, let's see. Oh, it's only one R. <laughs> okay. Um Marlins. Okay, Marlins. You might probably knew that already. Oh, wow. Hey, Ruben. Yeah, good to see you, man. Yeah, it's definitely been a while. Glad you could swing by and say hello. Good to see you. Glad you're still alive, you know, with all this craziness we've had probably since the last time I've seen you. A lot of craziness has happened. So, yeah, glad, glad you're still with us because I know I am glad I'm still with you. And Cody Morissette Marlins for John. So, Let's see about some of these Dominican prospect players around here, too. And you might already know uh, some of these. I'm just going to kind of go through them, though. And we'll start with that Pena. I think well, most of us probably already know. But uh, I want to see what team he's currently affiliated with and give that to the appropriate owner here. So it's Javier Pena. And he is affiliated with Bum 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 Bum. He is going to be affiliated, signed with the Dodgers, I believe, here in January. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, he's a Dodgers guy. I believe that's what I'm looking at. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Dodgers owner. Congratulations, Arturo. So 
That's really nice. That's an awesome patch on that thing, too. Look at that. Two of three. What a great hit. The Dodgers catcher rookie prospect card. Nice. What else is coming out of here? Okay, what do we got? We got the next Dominican prospect right here and we'll see if he's affiliated with team if he goes to random And we got a Phillies prospect. So this one is going to be going out to Arturo as well. Nice going with your Phillies die cut prospect right there. So that's number two, 165. And the final one that we have yet to determine the owner of is this one right here. Okay, and that is, let's see, we got It looks like he is with the Guardians. Yep, that's right. Cleveland Guardians. So that one, that autograph, congratulations, Arturo, is going to go to you, yes, sir. So that wraps up this box break in Elite Extradition. We gotta find a way to get this thing off of here. It's like uh, kind of tricky. So let me see what I can do with it. If I can slide it very, very carefully across the the mat without really putting any damage on it or anything. It's like so thin. So anyway, nice going, man. Congratulations with this one right here that's really cool young bug so another great break here in this elite extra edition baseball pretty pretty good rip to be into and lots of treasure around here to pull so we shall see what happens in our next break of elites